Hello everyone, Karen Miller here. Today is Sunday, April 12th. It's Easter Sunday. I'm going to make an eggplant lasagna with some zucchini and some mushrooms. I have not had eggplant in ages. In ages, I'm going to have it today. I'm going to remove the skin, not all of it. I'm going to do like stripes. So every half an inch or so I'm going to remove it. So you see it looks like that. Then I'm going to slice it, salt it, let it sit in the salt for about 20 minutes and slice and um, wash it out, wash out the salt and then put it on the grill. I'm going to grill it and then I'm going to put the stuffing in it and roll it up and put it in the dish with some marinara sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna slice this. Okay, so you get the point. You see these slices? I'm going to salt it, put it on a plate, and let it sit for 20 minutes. So guys, I have some mushrooms, I have some leeks, I have zucchini that I'm going to be grating, I have some peppers, some onions, some carrots. I'm going to be grating the zucchini and the carrots on my box grater and put everything into the pan, do a little bit of sauteing and then that mixture I'm going to put it on the eggplant and roll it up and put it into the dish with the sauce, put some sauce on top of it, put some breadcrumbs, stick it in the oven. So I grated the zucchini, right, like this. And then you grate the carrots on the box grater. So you have these pieces like that. So guys, I have some oil in the pot. I'm going to add some onions. The leek. So let's put our peppers in here. Let's add some salt, some black pepper, some mixed herb seasoning. Let's add our shredded, grated zucchini and carrots. So you salt this as well. You salt everything. Every item that you put in, you salt it. Mix this in. I 
have my pureed mushrooms. This is how I want it. So I pureed it in the food processor. It's going to cook. I'm going to mix the rest of the veggies into it. Again, gonna salt. Pepper. So the mushrooms, you know, as usual, it has a lot of moisture. I want this moisture to dry out before I incorporate the other veggies. I'm going to put some of my mushroom umami. I showed you guys this some weeks ago. I hope you stocked up on those things when people were buying stuff for this lockdown. Really adds a lot of flavor. So the water is drying out a little bit. I'm going to start incorporating the mushroom mixture into the other veggies so this is the mixture that I'm going to put on the eggplant strips roll it up and put it into my baking dish this is smelling good this is looking good So this is going to go for another 10 minutes or so, so the water would dry out and then I would start doing my wrapping up the eggplant strips. I also added some allspice to this so you can add some nutmeg. You see this has dried up, this is how I want it, dry. And then of course you're going to have concentration of flavor too when it's dried like that. So all of the water has evaporated. So this is how you want it. So this is the salted eggplant. You see it has these little dew drops on the top. Pulled out the water from it. I mean look at the water. Look at how much water. See? The salt pulled out that stuff from there. Now you're going to rinse this out because this is really salty. Okay, so this is good. Going to pat it dry. So I'm putting a little bit of grapeseed oil here. I don't want to put too much oil. Eggplant absorbs a lot of oil. So you're not frying it but you need some oil so I dried I patted and dried the eggplant so now I'm gonna put them on here baste it a little bit Okay. See, I turned it and it has a nice color there. Some black pepper on it. So when I'm done, we're going to start. And we're going to start rolling and put it in the baking dish. I have my marinara sauce here. I told you to always have your sauce on hand. Always have your sauce, guys. Looking pretty. So I'm going to put this at the bottom of the dish and then roll up my eggplant. So I have my filling here. That mushroom filling with the veggies. I'm going to take 
some of the filling and we're gonna roll it up like this and it doesn't matter if you have some of the filling just popping out there it doesn't matter right this is going to be delicious guys and I'm going to have this with some spaghetti I haven't had spaghetti in a while the eggplant is going to pick up the sauce because eggplant is like that it just soaks up everything gonna roll it up come on roll it up and put it in there like that guys so I'm going to continue doing this So I have my eggplant here that I rolled up. I only had one eggplant. Maybe I could have used a few more pieces to tighten it up a bit here, but that's okay. So I'm going to add some more sauce on top of this. So this is a great vegan dish, guys. Right, this is enough because it has a lot of sauce at the bottom already and it's going to start bubbling up. So I'm going to put some breadcrumbs, homemade bread. Guys, I hope you're making your bread. I have a few bread recipes. So what I did, I put some bread in the blender with some vegan butter. And this is the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs from fresh bread is always better than that dry store-bought stuff. But if you don't have any bread, even the store-bought bread, if you have store-bought bread, just put it in the blender with some butter and you would have better breadcrumbs. I'm going to put this in the oven, 425 degrees for about 15 minutes, no longer because everything here is already cooked and I'm gonna take it out and show you what it looks like it's gonna be delicious so guys I just took the eggplant lasagna out of the oven it's looking good looking good my breadcrumbs got all toasty nice and toasty nice brown color so I'm going to eat this with some spaghetti. This is going to cool, cooking my spaghetti. So when this is all done, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take a picture of the plate. going to have some arugula. And that's it, guys. Do this dish. It's delicious. It's going to be delicious. Okay? Hope you guys are drinking your lemon water. Look at my video where I showed you how to do this. Do this every day, at least twice a day, and you're not going to get sick. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is what is going to protect you, protect your immune system. Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. See you in the next video.